a few years ago, you would have been hard pressed to get Henry Anderson and Ernest Raymond in a room together, let alone sharing a microphone. But after a joint meeting with the Ministry of Agriculture that produced concrete plans to move the citrus industry forward and a jointly written cordial press release, there was a shared spirit of camaraderie as the industry looks to put its recent woes behind it. The meeting with the minister was an attempt at determining where the industry is at the moment, where we want to go in terms of production, and uh, more importantly, what are the mechanisms in that should put in place to make sure that there is increased production, that there is greater collaboration, not only among the associations between, but as well with all, among all stakeholders, and uh, very importantly, the kind of financing that would be needed to move the industry forward. So it was a moment for us to sit down with the minister, do some reflection, but also to look forward. As a matter of fact, we did end by agreeing that both all stakeholders need to sit down and develop something of a strategic plan for uh, the citrus industry, that which would identify what the issues are, certainly, but also to list those actions that needs to be taken and what requirements those actions will need for us to uh, move the industry forward and to make it more productive. This year's crop, besieged last August by Hurricane Earl, took a step back, but Henry Anderson found the bright side. A rebound is on the way. Last year we did 3.24 million boxes of oranges. This year we did 3.2 million boxes of oranges. And we lost about 569,000 boxes of oranges to Hurricane Earl. So if, had we not had the hurricane, we would have seen a trend up in the orange production. That's significant, Aaron, because when you're dealing with HLB, it takes a lot of work. And what we think we have achieved is actually the containment of the downward trend. If you look at Florida over the same time period, last year Florida did 81 million boxes. This year they're expecting to do around 68.5. So they have a big declining trend where we have come like this. We have about 2,000 acres of young groves that are three years old now that will be um, having production coming into the industry for the upcoming crop year. So we're guardedly optimistic that we should see the uptrend in the um, orange production. In the case of grapefruit, we had about 400 acres of grapefruit taken out and some was put into lime and coconuts. Uh, some are being replanted. So grapefruit has gone from 387,000 boxes last year to, or, to about 187 this year. Um, a big chunk of that, again, is um, Hurricane Earl, which knocked off about 200,000 um, boxes of a grapefruit. As they came in August, the grapefruit were bigger and they couldn't stay on the tree. So, although it's a decline, when you deconstruct the figures, it's, there's room for optimism going forward, knowing that new trees are coming into production. The associations and the ministry are to work together to resolve labor issues and tackle the ever-present HLB or citrus greening disease problem. This involves controlling the Asian citrus psyllid that affects trees, planting only certified citrus trees and removing affected trees, and implementing a robust nutrition program. On the government side, Baja will address eliminating illegal nurseries and plants and attracting additional capital. On that front, there is good news from the Social Security Board, while Citrus Products of Belize Limited was able to avoid the financial woes that bedeviled it in the 2015-2016 crop year. This year there was no issues with growers getting their payments actually because the board worked diligently to ensure that all of the financing was arranged before time. Um, there were some hiccups the year before, or not this past crop year, but the, the, the one before, that were outside of CPBL's control really. But uh, a lot of work was put in to ensure that everything was lined up. And um, you know, all parties, Heritage Bank, the Central Bank, everybody understand the importance of the industry and ensure that the financing was, was put there. The SSB board has approved $16.9 million financing to the industry. 6.9 million of that is directly for CPBL. And the other 10 million is for growers to directly borrow from SSB, uh, 7.4 million for the planting of citrus and 2.6 million for the planting of MD2 pineapples because the industry is looking to complement citrus. Well, that's the mainstay and we will grow that back to the 8 to 10 million boxes over the next decade. We also have opportunities where CPBL right now um, does um, MD2 pineapples. It processes MD2 pineapples at the CCB plant. So since all of the citrus production has moved to the BFP plant, you have the CCB plant there that you can now scale up. And what about the land? 
to get 5 million trees planted in 5 years, as has been agreed to, there will either have to be more land available or more trees on each property. Way back in 2010, it was estimated that there were 45,000 acres of uh, land in production with citrus. But of course, those 45,000 acres, probably their production has been less than what is desired. I mean, right now, I think we are producing below 200,000 boxes of fruit per acre. That is something that has to increase drastically. We also need to increase the production acreage as such, and not only increasing the production acreage, but also practicing like how many trees we plant per acre. More and more it is believed that we need to increase the number of trees or plants per acre so that our production can go up. In all, both men see a bright future ahead for the industry once it buckles down and works hard. That's what it's all about, making sure that all tech stakeholders, along with the Ministry of Agriculture, works towards improving uh, the industry. Citrus prices are the highest they have ever been. Um, the price for oranges right now is $2.54 or $2.55 per pound solid. Uh, if you convert that to box, that's about $15.47. That, that is the highest price. Grapefruit is a little over $10 per box. That's about the second highest price. So you have good prices. You have access to markets, as we do. We also have a case now where Social Security has made some financing available, um, and we need to look at how we could attract more financing. So it's all coming together. Uh, what we want everybody to understand, that the growers are working together, um, and you know the industry is looking to move forward. The conversation um, has been ongoing. And it's good now to have the leadership at the ministry to, to really bring everybody together. Not in the sense that everybody are not around the same table, but in the sense that if Belize, our industry is massive in terms of our economy, but we are a speck on the wall internationally. So we need to collaborate together and we need to have a ministry or a government that is able to work with us to get out there. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.